Alistair, this is the <laughs> communication course. I want to thank the students for coming out today in this very blistering cold weather. But anyway, our aim today is to cover chapter six of the textbook, the telecommunications book, The Essentials of Telecommunication by the author <coughs> Annabelle Dodd. All right, so the internet is a combination of two words. And I gave you that as an assignment the last time, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it came from interconnected networks. And most folks believe that it means international networks. And that's not true. I've given quizzes in the past where students actually say international, but it's interconnected. And I guarantee you a large percentage of computer users out in the world don't even know the connection between those two words and where it came from. So it's important to know the derivative of things, right? Isn't that important? It's essential, right? Yes. It makes you more educated. So what did we say? It consists primarily of high-speed routers that connect various networks together, and they send, which is the same as transmit, packets. And we spoke about packets, right? Packets has a, a, a error correction in the front, it has an address where it's going to, and it has a payload, which is the content of your message. And then at the end, the tail end of the packet, it says, well, we're finished transmitting. So in, in, in other words, if you send mail to someone that you know in Alexandria, Virginia, what you gonna have? First name, last name, number, street, street zip code, zip code, city, state. And if something goes wrong, what happens? Return the sender. Return the address. Is this any different? No, it's just done electronically. All right. Over the internet backbone, okay, which carries the greatest concentration of internet traffic. We spoke about that, right? Y-Tier controls telecommunication in, this, in the world. Tier 1. Tier what? Tier 1. Okay. Who are some of them? Japan. ATC. ATC and Ryzen. Yes, sir. Thank you. So it's four of them, right? Four honchos around the world. Okay. So edge routers direct traffic to their destinations are responsible for securing and must be compatible with many different transmission packets schemes or protocols all right so this is a router right here here are more routers right here all right so that seems to be the key in terms of um getting information from one destination to the other which is incredible all right we're going to talk about root routers in a minute so as internet traffic continues to increase the capacity or the handling capability of data will also grow, and complex legal and societal issues will emerge. This includes network neutrality, which is the ability of users to access content from any site, regardless of protocols, and whether the site providers also owns broadband services over which the site operates. Okay, these are all legal terms. I believe uh, Ms. Weeks alluded to some of this in terms of the uh, government spying on the people, okay? So you, we have to impose security measures because data is volatile, especially when you're dealing with your records in terms of business, right? So we're gonna be talking about security issues later on in this slide presentation, which is important. So the internet has given more opportunities to small businesses, there you go, right? and entrepreneurs to become wealthy by networking and marketing their own products or service to the general public due to its expanded speed, availability, and reasonable cost. So welcome to the new age of technology where y'all can start doing some legitimate business and uh, putting some money in your pocket by networking with other people that um, might want to invest in your idea that got money. Money makes money, right? Okay, you don't have to wait for a four-year degree to make money. In the hood, they call that a hustle, right? But you don't want to do the hustle, it's going to throw you in jail, right? Mm -hmm. So stay away from drug dealing. <laughs> <laughs> so Google now earns a large share of internet advertising revenue. It acquired the following software companies. 
AdSense, DoubleClick, and AdMob, and now provide Google with the tools to manage advertising placement and creation. So you just gobble up these small businesses and then they take care of certain aspects of your business. After all, they're the experts, right? Those small businesses, right? So you just gobble them up, right? One of these businesses could have been, could have been yours, Ms. Mora, right? Maybe uh, AdMob, and you were good at advertisement, you weren't making that much of a money, but you had, you had good ideas. So Google says, I'll buy you out for what? $10 million. Are you going to take that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to build another ad model? Mm hmm There you go. Amen. Okay. Imagine if you own an advertising site that was awesome. If you did then Google to have bought you out for at least $2 million. Right? If you did, then Google would, that's what I'm just saying, right? All right? So it, you made $10 million in your business, I was only hauling in $1 million. And you've been doing it for the last seven years, so it wasn't that lucrative, right? But Google saw, saw something in you. Forum for discussion. What would you have done in this case if you had your small business? What would you have done? I, I would have kept it. I, I wow. would have sold so quick what I put my heart on. I would. Let's go. Let's go to him. Hard earned um, ideas into. Repeat that again. You would have what? I would have kept my business and um, allowed it to grow and uh, maybe sold it later on down the line for more money. I wouldn't have sold it so quickly. Okay. Didn't a company just do that? Say, say it again. I'm still rolling. Okay. Say, say it again. I said, didn't a company just do that? Does anybody um, know if a company just did that? I, I think someone wanted to buy them for a billion dollars and they didn't want to sell. I forgot what company it was. That's it's happened just, several times. Yeah, it's, it's not the first time. Young uh, uh, owner, I think Snapchat, he's like 23, yeah, and they want to yeah, buy yeah, his business. He's like a billion dollar business. And he said no. No. Yeah, he, so big, yeah, he told him that he's not selling. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Crowder, for that information. Anybody uh, else? What have you had done back there, Miss Sweet? Uh, Weeks, what would you have done? I may, I may would have sold it and, and leveraged the, the revenue to develop something else. Yeah. Okay. That was that, that what Ms. Morris said, right? Yeah, sometimes you reach a plateau, you develop a platform, you're able to cash out and move to something bigger, greater. Mm -hmm. Very good. Anybody else? No? Nothing here? No? All right. We had a discussion. So these are what? Some of the, this is Ad Android by AdMob. You see it? That's their logo. You got over here another one. And these are some uh, statistics. Mm -hmm. iPhone Touch and iPhone users use the mobile web more than they. All right, so we're not gonna spend too much time on that. Okay, so this is the growth through the internet. This is it. It was developed in 1969 and was used primarily by the government and universities. So these are large mainframes. Computers were used and ac to access files on remote computers and email was cumbersome and slow <coughs> and required old style commands. Is there anybody been around here long enough to know that you, if you wanna uh, hit, look at your directory in your hard drive, five and a quarter hard drive, big at the time, you gotta type directory C colon. See how that works? Mm -hmm. Or run program. Mm -hmm. I remember that. I remember that. Yeah. Everything was text driven. That was called text driven. And the screens were monochrome. We've come a long way. Right? And we got to where we are now with the advancement of software, how to define our data. You know, so it's just grown astronomically in terms of um, facilitating user computer friendliness, all right? Because of the advancement of microprocessor chips, sophisticated computer programs, good algorithm software packages, and here we are. But a lot of it has to do with Moore, Moore's Law. What does Moore's Law says? That the power of computing doubles every what? Two years. How many? Two years. Two years, all right? Thank you. The start of browsers like Netscape Navigator and Internet Explorer finally did away with having to learn commands to navigate the web. Browsers created the start of large-scale consumer. You were the consumer. You were the user. 
access to online services. Then the internet was limited to dial-up service via line lines. Look how slow this is, 19.2 kilobits. Now we're looking at what? Gigabits per second. It's that slow. This is slow. You sit there and you wait and you wait for your file to download. <laughs> All right. Which made it slow and painful. Broadband technology such as cable, digital subscriber line, DSL, T1, and cable modems became more widely used. Used, right? My fault. See what I do when I try to move this out the way? I go back to Yeah, right here. They became more widely used and affordable for consumers and small businesses, all right? So we're looking at how the world is connected. This is a metaphor with the planet. All right, and internet usage, look how far it's gone up. This is the ARPANET back in 1960. Oh, come on. <laughs> 1960, that's not what happened. 1969, right? This is 1985. Oh, wow, what are they doing this to us? Don't touch that. Just, that's just, it. Just, just I know, I, I need point. a stick, I need a stick. <laughs> then, it, then it's gone up, growth rate. Right here, right? Mm -hmm. Exponentially now, 1997, look where we are. From all three, look how fast it's gone up, almost li linearly. It's gone up linearly, right? That's an ascending mm -hmm. slope. It just continues to go up. But it was slow here, right? Look at this, 1969 to 1973. Look how slow it was. And all of a sudden, because of the uh, advancement of what? Microprocessor technology? Architectural design, boom. Now your software is moving fast. All right? What's that in the red? What did I see in the red zone? Brother? Internet, ATM, all the, you know, like the machines and whatnot. Now they're using it for banking. <laughs> you know, that's not a long way off. That's like recent stuff, probably. You know, the banking, right? Because y'all were still writing out checks, right? And going to the teller. Mm -hmm. What was that, like, what, seven years ago, perhaps? You still go to the teller, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then now your payroll is here now. Mm -hmm. Remember when you had to cash <laughs> your check? Now, now you can take a picture of the check. <laughs> you yep. Yep. Wow. Yeah. See, I, yeah. I, I can't yeah. do anything right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that. I don't, I don't, I'm not taking my chances. I know, but I know what yeah, you mean. So we're still dealing with the growth of the internet, right? So the key development that followed the introduction of browsers was the development of sophisticated search engines by organizations such as Google, Alta Vista, and Gs. All right, these are where they're housed, right? So these early search engines promoted browsing by organizing large amounts of information on the internet. It's good to know that search engines such as Google, Microsoft, and Baidu in China earn revenue from advertising on their sites. They have expanded to also include mobile devices, location services, voice over internet protocol, cloud computing, and email. All right, so there's money to be made on the internet, or for other people's money. Defense against attacks. The Verizon 2010 data breach investigation report conducted with the US Secret Service found that in 2009, insiders are responsible for 49% of breaches. In particular, by employees who have been fired or those who feel entitled to access information are frequent causes of these incidents. Most security software and hardware products and services offer software that generate audit trails. Mm -hmm. Intranets. An intranet is the use of web technology for the sole dedicated use of single site and multi-site organization. Intranets are a way to distribute information, software, and other service within an organization using web-like software tools. Thus, that concludes my presentation mm -hmm. for today. Mm -hmm.